Welcome to this program on addition of numbers. In this program, we will learn about how to add numbers from 1 to 9. And this program is going to have two parts. One part will show you the demonstration, how the children should learn, how the children should be instructed. And the second part will explain to you the basic philosophy behind all the activities and all the pictures and all the strategies that we are going to use to make the children learn about addition. So, let us start and we can take any small object here. For example, how many of these plastic cubes? One and one more plastic cube. Now, how many are these? You will say one and this one make two, they add to make two. Similarly, if these are two, then if I add one to it or so, how many of these are there? Can you count? These are three. So, 2 and 1 more make 3. Similarly, if I add 1 to these 3, then what happens? You can count again 1, 2, 3, 4. So, they make 4. So, 1, 3 and 1 make 4. Similarly, 4 and 1 how many they make? How many they are? 4 and 1. We will mix them together, we will put them together and see how many they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They are 5. We can take many things from our daily life. For example, we can take pencils to let the children add numbers up to 5. For example, one pencil and one more pencil. How many pencils are there? Yes, two pencils and one more pencil. How many pencils are there? Three pencils. Similarly, three pencils and one more pencil. How many pencils they become? You can again count one, two, three, four four pencils. And similarly, we can add another pencil here, four and one, how many they make? Four and one make five again. And we can use again more daily life objects like pen here, one pen and another pen. How many pens are there? Yes. Now you know one and one make two, so they are two pen. Similarly, two and one, how many pens are there? Two and one make three. You do not have to count by now, you know that two and one make three. Similarly, three and one, how many they make? Four. And 4 and 1, how many they make? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let us go further and now look at some pictures to see how we can add those objects which are in the pictures. One ball and another ball. How many they make? Mm, by now you know it. They make two pictures. Yani two balls. So, one ball and one ball make two balls. Similarly, if two balls are there and we add one more ball to it, how many it becomes? How many they are? Two and one make three. Is not it? Now, you can remember how many they make. Now, you can easily recall you have learnt from pens and pencils and all. 
Similarly, if we have three balls and we add one another ball, it makes four, isn't it? And similarly, if we have four balls and we add one more ball to it, then it becomes how many? Five balls. Yes. So, you know that one and one make two, two and one make three, three and one makes four and four and one makes five. So, we have learnt how these numbers add up to make five. And now, let us revise what we have learnt with the help of a poem. This poem is about parrots. You must have seen parrots green colored with a beak of red. Yes. So, one little parrot singing I love you, one more joins in making them how many? Two. Similarly, two little parrots resting on a tree, one more joins in making them how many? You can count or you can remember making them three. Three little parrots looking for more, one more joins in making them how many? One, two, three, four. Four little parrots wanting to dive, one more joins in making them how many? Five. Hmm, enjoyed the poem of five parrots, isn't it? Welcome back. And now, we are going to take numbers more than 5 and see what happens when we add one more to it. Let us take these things, you see, you must have seen such round things, these are how many? You can count, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if we add one more, how many these becomes? Six. They are six. So, these are how many? Six. And if we add two to them, now how many they become? One way is that I should be counting them all together. One, two, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. This is one way of adding these. Another way could be that I know these are 6. So, I count forward and 7 and 8. This way it becomes easier. So, choose whichever way you want and you can add these numbers 6 and 2. Let us take more shapes, more things to add numbers. Just see how many these are? 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 1, 2, 3, four and we add two to them, then how many they become? We can add count for adding one, two, three, four, five, six or we can count further from four to five, six. We know these are four, so we count further from five to six. So, that way we can add many, many things, numbers up to 9. Let us look at some pictures and which are pictures from your home, from your neighborhood and you can, you see how many cows you can count. These are two cows and one more cow comes in. So, they will be equal to how many cows? they will be equal to 3 cows, 1, 2, 3, that way you can count. Similarly, 
these are three children playing and two more children join them in to play. So how many children they become? And this number is equal to five children. So now we are using the word equal to and now we are counting flowers in the vase. How many flowers? Five flowers and then two more flowers are added. So how many flowers they become? You can count further or you can count together. So I am counting further five and two more flowers. So it becomes six and seven. So altogether seven flowers or we can say five flowers and two flowers are equal to seven flowers. Let us take another example of birds. These are four birds. How many birds? Four birds and two more birds fly in. So they add up to how many birds or they are equal to how many birds? Six birds. So now we are using a sign of equality to show the addition, adding of two numbers here. And now similarly these are how many shirts? Six shirts and two shirts. We put them together and it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 shirts. So we can say that 6 and 2 are equal to 8, 6 and 2 when we add them is equal to 8. So we have learnt about adding two numbers up to 9. Let us look at numbers now when we do not have to add another number or we add 0 to that number. So here are four things 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 things and now I am not adding, I could add 1 to it but I am not adding anything to it, I am removing that and therefore how many it becomes? It still remains 4. It means when I add 0 to a number, it remains the same. So let us look at some pictures and try to find out what happens when we add 0 to a number. Here are 5 tomatoes and we are adding 0 tomatoes to it. So how many tomatoes they will remain? They will remain 5 because we have not added any number to it, no change in number is happening, therefore they remain 5. So 5 tomato and 0 tomato is equal to 5 tomato or we can say 5 and 0 equal to 5. And now slowly what we are going to do is instead of and we are going to use another symbol. And that is the symbol of addition. For example, here these are four insects and two more insects join in. So how many they become? Again you can use any of the ways you want. You can merge them together and start counting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or you can count further from 4 and say 4. 5, 6. So 4 and 2 is equal to 6. And now slowly what we are going to do is use another number 0. So 2 and 0 will be no number added, 2 and 0 will be 2. And now we are going to use in this addition instead of word and a symbol of plus. For example, here four flowers are there and three flowers are added. So how many total flowers become? Again we can count forward 
4 and we will count 3 more. So, 4, 5, 6, 7. Total flowers are 7. So, the statement will be 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So, instead of word and we are using the symbol of plus. You have to note that one symbol at a time has to be introduced. First, for example, here we have introduced equal to and now we have introduced plus. So, only one symbol at a time has to be introduced. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Now, this becomes the mathematical statement from this visual questions. 4 puppies plus 2 puppies is equal to how many? Yes, 6 puppies. And what will be the mathematical statement? 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So, similarly, we can talk about the marbles. You can count the marbles here. I am not giving you the answers. You can count the marble in one child's hand and you can count the marbles in the second child's hand and you can find out how many both of them have. We do not have to give you the answers. Look at these pictures carefully, count them, add them and try to find out the answers yourself. And now, we are, what we are going to do is instead of pictures, we are just going to use numbers. For example, 5 and 2 equal to 7 or we can say 5 plus 2 equal to 7. So, now on we are going to look at the symbols and the numbers. 3 plus 6 equal to what? So, here again what you can do is count forward from 3 up to 6 times and see what comes. So, 3 add 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, 3 and 6 equal to 9 will be the answer. So, this way now we will start the addition of numbers. I think we have taken enough examples, enough pictures. Here, how many are these dots? 2 dots and 3 dots are equal to how many dots? You can count forward or you can count them all together and write the answers. So, here we will write 2 dots plus 3 dots are equal to 5 dots. And similarly, we can how, how we can find out how much is 1 plus 7? We can start from 1 and count forward 7 times or we can add, we can take 7 and add 1 to it. What will be 7 and 1 added? It will be 8. And what will be starting from 1, counting forward 7 times? It will be 8. So, 1 and 7, 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Now, we can find it, we find it very difficult at times to add, but we find such questions also written this way. It means 1 and 7 have to be added. So, what we can do is we can mark lines to show how much is 1 and similarly we can mark 7 lines to mark how much is 7 and then we can count them together to find the answer. So, we have marked one line and then we have marked 7 lines and then we count them together again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, answer here will be 8. So, what you can do is children, you can always make dots or lines or any symbol to mark the number, if you find it difficult to add numbers like this. 
for example, here if you are adding 2 and 6, you can mark 2 lines or 2 dots and you can mark 6 lines or 6 dots and then add them together and find out that 6 and 2 or 2 and 6 add up to make 8. Similarly, 3 and 5 again will make add up to 8. You are noticing one thing that there are different numbers which are adding to make the same number. 2 and 6 added to make 8, 3 and 5 added to make 8, is not it? That is very strange. And similarly, we will get another 2 numbers 4 and 4 they are also adding to make 8. It means we can use many numbers to make add up to the same number. I hope you have learnt a lot about addition and you can practice addition in your home, in your real life and see how you can help your parents and your friends to add numbers up to 9.